San Francisco. It calls to me San Francisco. I gotta be back in Frisco, beside the sea, up and down Chinatown, New York's pace, Chicago's grace, great towns, but they can't replace the razzmatazz, Alcatraz, and all that jazz. Telegraph Hill, it fits the bill. Thrill, they thrill me still. Golden Gate Bridge, the bog rolling in. So if you find the need to explore all your dreams, look to San Francisco, my favorite town. Look to San Francisco, my favorite town. Welcome to Great Chefs. San Francisco, a culinary guided tour with chefs from some of the finest restaurants in the Bay Area. This time, from Berkeley, Santa Fe Bar and Grill and chef co-owner, Jeremiah Tower. He is one of the city's most interviewed cooking personalities and has, among others, become synonymous with trendy California cuisine. Born in America, Chef Tower grew up in Europe and Australia, tagging along with his father, a businessman, whose travels exposed Jeremiah to great food. He moved back to the U.S. and studied architecture at Harvard. Then, on the way to Hawaii, he made a fateful stopover in San Francisco. It introduced him to Alice Waters and her famed restaurant, Chez Panisse in Berkeley. Thus began a chefing career that has been sensational, if not orthodox. I was down to my last, about $15. And someone said, a friend of mine, because they'd taken me to lunch at Chez Panisse, which was almost a year old at that time, sort of neighborhood cafe. And they said they were looking for a chef. So I hopped on the next bus, called Chez Panisse. I didn't know anybody there. And arrived there at 6 o'clock one evening. Walked into the kitchen and said, Hi, I'm Jeremiah Tower, and I'm here for an interview. And they said, get the hell out. By that time, Alice had come down from uh, upstairs. And she said, well, hello, how are you? And I was telling you, fix the soup. Uh, so I tasted the soup, and it was the biggest pot of soup I've ever seen in my life. Tasted it, and it needed salt. I put some salt in. I, it was a little thin, so I put in some cream and stirred it all around, put a little pepper in. Maybe in those days I used to put white wine in the soup, so I put in some white wine probably. And they tasted the soup and thought it was a miracle, and I got the job as a chef. Santa Fe Bar and Grill has become a hit in the Bay Area, as have two other operations that Chef Tower has run since leaving Chez Panisse. The menu for this program not only reflects Jeremiah Tower's cooking instincts, but capsulates the whole California movement. So it's just how to fillet this flat fish, Pacific uh, halibut. See, underside. Here's the line of the backbone, right there. Same on the other side. If you are curious about the difference between a Pacific halibut and a flounder, here's a test. Stick your finger into a live fish's mouth. If the finger is still there when you pull it out, it's a flounder. The fish I did just because I really wanted to do something with a technique which showed people how to do an infinite variety of things very easily. Um, you can make duck terrines and things and pigeon uh, terrines that will take you all day long, and those are wonderful. But I think in this uh, day and age, what people don't realize quite so much is you can make wonderful food very quickly uh, without a lot of cooking effort. So I wanted to show poaching a thin slice of fish, which takes just a couple of minutes, and draining the fish and then reducing the poaching liquid and then Mending with butter and vegetables, in this case tomatoes, um, and an herb to give it a highlight of flavor. But it could have been tomatoes and mushrooms. It could have been uh, some of the mixed vegetables you see later on that I'm doing with the pork. They could have been thrown in at the last minute. So there really is an uh, infinite, infinite variety of sauces made that way in the pan that you just pour over. And it could have been creamed or butter or... Uh, egg yolk and cream, all sorts of things. Chef Tower will use fresh ornamental basil and chopped tomatoes. The poaching liquid is fish stock. The Pacific halibut is the largest in a family of flatfish that also includes sole, flounder, and turbo. 
The flesh is white, lean, and tender. Excellent for poaching. Here's the butter. Like that. Cover with a paper so that the uh, fish from it still has a chance to evaporate. Ready? Send them very gently. Over like that. Now you can just practically turn the fire off. Just let them sit for a couple of minutes. The poaching liquid is reduced and the tomatoes and fresh basil with butter complete the sauce. Okay, now we're getting there. Take some tomato, drained like that, chopped up tomato. Put that in. Some of the purple basil. Some butter, quite a bit. Now the secret is to just stir that around. Everybody makes mistakes. Pinch of salt. Pinch of pepper. Throw them together. Alcatraz, 